It's time for your student loan news download. First up, the Department of Education recently announced an additional $7.4 billion in student debt relief for over 270,000 borrowers. Part of this relief went to those pursuing public service loan forgiveness, as well as those enrolled in the new Save Income Driven Repayment Plan. And more than half was granted through the IDR account adjustment, which ends on April 30th, 2024. If you have multiple federal loans or took out loans prior to 2011, like FFEL, HEAL, or Perkins loans, you must consolidate at studentaid.gov before this deadline to earn extra credit toward loan forgiveness programs and to get access to more affordable repayment plans. Visit our website to learn more. And finally, the Education Department released the first set of draft rules on a new targeted debt relief plan, which would eliminate debt if you have accrued or capitalized interest, up to 20,000 could be waived. Individual tax filers are eligible if they made $120,000 or less per year, and married joint tax filers are eligible if they made less than a combined $240,000. It would also provide relief if you owe more than you did at the start of repayment, if you are eligible for loan forgiveness but have not yet applied. This would include PSLF and income-driven repayment forgiveness through SAVE. If you have been in repayment for 20 to 25 years, if you enrolled in a low financial value program, this includes institutions that closed as well as programs that lost their eligibility to participate in the federal student aid program, or if you're experiencing financial hardship in paying back your loans, such as borrowers who are at high risk of default and families burdened with other expenses like medical debt or childcare. Much of the proposed relief would be automatic. Some would require an application. The public has 30 days through May 17 to comment on the draft rules. Legal challenges may arise, but for now, be sure to participate and submit your comments.